To enter a requisition in Tiger Buy, navigate to your shopping homepage. Click on Create Requisition in the Shortcuts menu. When the dialog box for the non-catalog item appears, enter the supplier name or banner ID of the supplier you wish to create an order for. If a supplier doesn't pre-populate by entering their name or their banner ID, the profile will not be active for shopping. In this case, please reach out to PBS to check the status of the supplier. Once the supplier has been entered or selected, you may proceed to entering the line items for the order being placed. If only entering a single line item, click Save, and then navigate to your shopping cart in the top right-hand corner. If entering multiple lines, click Save and add another. Once all items have been entered, click Save. After clicking on the shopping cart in the top right-hand corner, you can view your cart or check out. After landing in the shopping cart, update the cart name and description with any information about the order that is necessary. The campus designation will pre-populate based on the default value entered in your profile. If this has not been set, please select the appropriate designation. Enter a business purpose for the items being purchased. Reminder, the business purpose must be specific, but is limited to 100 characters. By scrolling down, you will see the supplier the order will be sent to, the number of items, and the total cost of the order. If you have a quote number to enter, please use the quote number field to enter that quote number. If you know the FOPL codes being used, you can proceed to checkout. If not, please use the assign cart feature to send the cart to someone else to complete. All information from the shopping cart will be carried over into the next page, cart name, description, business purpose, etc. Required fields listed on the right-hand side of the screen will need to be addressed prior to placing the order. Fields to review in the general section are, has a contract request been completed? Additionally, you'll need to select a purchasing category. Once the fields have been completed, save your progress. Just as we did with the punch out order, we'll also need to include shipping and billing information. If the shipping address that's pre-populated does not match where the order should be sent, please edit the shipping information. Use the pencil in the top right hand corner of the shipping information to select a new address. This process can be followed exactly for the billing information and the billing address can also be updated. With this order needing to be a PO that is encumbered in banner, we will not enter any credit card information before submitting this order. As you can see on the right hand side, we still have our FOPL information that needs to be corrected before we can submit our order. We can use the red hyperlinks on the right side to access the accounting code section. Now that we've entered our accounting codes, we don't have any red fields on the right-hand side. If we have internal notes or attachments we'd like to add, we can add them from the Summary tab. Additionally, we can also add external notes and external attachments. On the right-hand side, we now see our workflow for this order. After moving from our draft status, this requisition will have an initial banner budget authorization and then move to the departmental approvals. By clicking on the departmental approval level one step, we can now see who the approvers will be for this order. Once this step is approved, the order will move through the remaining steps in the workflow. In addition to internal notes and attachments and external notes and attachments on this summary page, we can also add these within the attachments section. We navigate to our attachments tab at the top and then choose the type of attachments we'd like to add. We can drag and drop a file or browse our computer. Once you've uploaded your file, save your changes and the document will be listed. As you navigate back to the summary tab at the top, you'll now see that document listed on your internal notes and attachments section. Once you've completed your order, click place order in the top right.